I call Simon O'Connor. Against the spirit of free speech, Mr Speaker, may I suggest, and for mine, you can turn your uh, hearing aid off for five minutes and then turn it back on. <laughs> Mr Speaker, to illustrate the very problem that the left and the radical left are putting across tonight, I would just like to say I have found every contribution from the Labor Party and the Greens, $200,000 Chloe Swarbuck, offensive. Right. It's hurt me. I'm mentally anguished by what they've said. My tribe, my community, my identity has been deeply offended. And no one on that side can dare to critique that because that's my experience. That's right. Don't you dare question what I'm feeling. My feelings trump anything you think, anything your group thinks. My tribe, my feelings are right. And I am very upset tonight. Mr Speaker, I want everything that the Labour Party and the Radical Greens say banned. I don't want to see them on the universities because if I walk there tomorrow, I could have a hurt feeling. That's right. I could have a hurt feeling. You know what? You know what? I could go to a university and someone could say, Simon O'Connor, we don't agree with you. And you know what? That's just going to cut, according to the Labour Party, so much to my heart. They're going to say, gosh, you're, you're a Catholic. Oh, you know, what terrible sin could that be? You know, that's a terrible thing, you know. And I, I feel really hurt about that. You, you know, you're an academic. You've studied. You're privileged. Gosh, that's going to hurt. Mr Speaker, I'm doing this as parody because what doesn't seem to get the left is that freedom of speech relies on the ability for actually an array of ideas. And the whole point of freedom of speech is not for the speech we agree with, it's the speech we don't. That's right. That's right. And unfortunately, our universities have been captured by a bunch of left-wing progressives. And the only needs one quick example. AUT University, I've written to them recently. Guess what, Mr Speaker? A bunch of women, if that's the, probably the wrong uh, pronoun and collective pronoun anyway, but a bunch of women, I want to be really specific about that gender, a bunch of women wanted to go on to the university to talk about women. And you know what happened? They were banned. Women were banned from talking about women's rights. And not only that, they were abused, they were given hateful speech, they were harassed, they were bullied from people who call them inclusion officers, from academics, it's an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. And let's be under no illusion here. This has nothing to do with freedom of speech from the other side. It's all about control. You will only be allowed to think, say, and preach what they believe in. That is autocracy. That is a totalitarian mindset. And it infects like a virus our universities. That's it's right. an absolute cancer, and like any cancer, and the doctors know this, you rip it out. And the best way you rip it out is some sunlight. And there is an absolute arrogance, That's an right. arrogance of the highest degree from the left and the radical left that they know best. That's right. And the thing is, you don't. And I can say that with confidence, because I might be on the other side, I might have a different opinion, but you know what? I don't think I know best. I think I have an opinion. I could be wrong. I'm actually willing to be told I'm wrong without having a bloody cry baby in the corner. I need a safe space. Grow up. And to those academics, those of you who respond to the survey talking as freedom as some appropriated colonial concept, get out. We pay our taxes. You're an absolute disgrace. To those academics, including those who fought for COVID, who bullied and harassed other academics. Those seven who stood up, the Royal Society, an absolute shocker and a shame. To those COVID scientists paid huge amounts of money by this government, harassing their colleagues, an absolute disgrace. And so we need legislation like this. We need more legislation like this. Because at the end of the day, Mr Speaker, our universities are no longer filled with academics. They're filled with activists and their mindsets are weak and it's so and they shake their head on the other side we know it's so weak because they cannot even sustain the most coherent simple basic arguments without crying university has flourished throughout the world it's been given to new zealand by the way universities are appropriated into new zealand just for you left-wing academics who need to grow up they have a lineage of free speech and ideas and so the final message is really simple. To those on the left, to those academics who do not, do not believe in freedom of speech, grow up.
And if you're not prepared to grow up, go and become the kindergarten teacher. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Order. Order. I call... Uh, order.